Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I wanted to post a quick video uh, asking all of you to subscribe below, subscribe below, and thumbs up, of course, and share this video, but really the content is about encouraging you to keep, keep on keeping on. This sign that says Peace on Earth was created because Kevin Finnegan that was what he came over on 9-11 when we wanted to do a protest here in Eugene, Oregon. And we did this really quick on the fly. Uh, and in back of it is actually um, cheap lattice that I bought at the used supply store. I did a wall treatment and it's $3 a panel, so I just posted it up there to hold it back because that's just cheap, cheap, cheap paper. That back there is a piece of artwork that I have not finished. I started on January 1st, 2016. That's as far as I got in one day, and I have not had a minute of time to even think about artwork, and I have actually been abusing it. <laughs> but I keep showing it because this is a picture of the mom. It's not the mom of this baby. The mom of this baby was that was with this guy. I'm going to put in a different mom. And the thing that's in the middle there, it says, Free Radicals. This is from Thomas Ackerman. And I, uh, I'm i not going to say I failed him. I'm just slow because I have lots on my plate. And I wanted to give, this is what this whole video is about, saying thank you. Thank you for being a community. And I wanted to show you this. See this? And these earrings. And the ring and the bracelet I got from one of my subscribers and friends we met on Skype she lives in Australia Margaret Stover for my birthday last year it was a very sweet gesture for goodness sakes like honestly Margaret sent me a box of presents that made me cry because uh, many of you know I was a survivor of severe child abuse right so holidays, Christmas, I was the one who never got anything. Uh, that was kind of the general tone of it all because I was the one who didn't get raped or beaten. Thankfully, my dad decided to treat me like a regular human being and did not abuse me. And uh, so uh, the net result of that was that I didn't get presents. <laughs> So when Margaret sent me these presents last year, like this whole set of matching jewelry, the necklace, I was like, ooh, I started crying. She sent me those paints. That artwork was painted with the paints that Margaret sent me. And in fact, I plan on finishing it this Christmas. <laughs> I still have it in my head. I still have what I'm going to do. I still know what I'm going to do, but it's just... Uh, you know, I have to earn a living. That's the thing. Like, if somebody out there is super rich and wants, wants to pay me $45,000 a year, uh, I'll just do this, the anti-nuke stuff and paint and write poetry, which I haven't even really shared with you any of my poetry. But uh, I write poetry. I paint. I have lots of paintings. This is why I need a three-bedroom house. My, my nieces and nephews are like, why do you need a three-bedroom house? Well, this is why, because I have this other life in here. Um, I'm posting this video in the hopes that other people will be willing. Like, this is the thing. We have citizens now camping out on the Dakota Pipeline. 100% believing that their efforts are going to stop the Dakota Pipeline. It might stop the Dakota Pipeline. It will not stop the murder and mayhem of the industrial military complex, which is our tax dollars. Uh, it is up to us. The election is coming up, or selection, as we already know. Hillary Clinton's going to be the next president of the United States, unless she's dead and her second, you know, her uh, body double gets out of this whole Saddam Hussein thing, you know, you know like that weird shit that goes on with those people. Um... 
I'm posting this video for people like Margaret. Thank you, Margaret, for loving me and recognizing who I am. I love you for that. And I love you. We, Margaret and I have developed a sweet relationship. Uh, I want to thank everybody that subscribes to my channel, shares this channel, shares the ideas. I don't have the answers. And if anybody knows of organizations that we can get involved in or I could get involved in, let me know. Please interview with me on my radio show. I'd like to form a coalition of people where we just have a collective voice. I have been going to like Beyond Nuclear, for example. I went on to Beyond Nuclear to see if they had hooked into the 15,000 abandoned uranium mines at the Black Hills, defend, Defenders of the Black Hills. That's one of their issues is the abandoned uranium mines on the Navajo lands, which is going right down the Dakota pipeline. So I thought, well, why aren't we talking about this? Why don't we have Geiger counters? And we don't. And this is why I'm doing videos again, because uh, Glenn Woodford, Kevin Blanche, uh, really Patrick McCormick, Miss Milky the Clown does great work, actually. What she does is she finds other people's work and a scientific work and really good work and copies it. I mean, she doesn't just copy crap. So Miss Milky the Clown, uh, Missing Sky. But this is the thing. There's so few people. And so I just decided if I'm bitching about not enough people out, then I need to fucking make more time, even though I'm doing the radio show. I'm going to school. That That's not enough. I need to make videos. I do call Congress. Today I did call uh, another member of the uh, Environment and Energy Committee in the House to say, please get Bill 4100 out of the House to help start helping the people of St. Louis so we can figure out a budget to help them because right now they're not being helped. Although... Uh, Donna Clock did post something about St. Louis that said that there was a settlement between Republic Services and 34 residents. I guess that's houses. I don't know the details of the story, but 34 residents had made a negotiated settlement with Republic Services. So those are probably the people that are most in harm's way that are living like lining the settlement. I, can we even believe we're talking like this, folks? I, I, as an American, I mean, this to me has taken away my rights as an American. The right to free speech, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We have science being bought off by the nuclear industry. I mean, Dana Durnford was convicted for telling some people to fuck off and telling them he wanted to fucking knock their heads off their heads. And you know what? I fucking feel the same way. Would we really do it? No, we're pacifists. We're not going to harm people physically, but they're murdering us. They are murdering our children. They are lying to us about the harm that nuclear is causing. And we are supposed to go, oh, yeah, let's pretend Hillary Clinton didn't steal the election. Let's pretend Donald Trump is just a regular a politician and he can be president. We're going to have the fucking most fascist, you guys don't even know who Mike Pence is, but he's a fucking military Nazi fucking fascist who hates women. Let's be very clear. His office turned me in for saying I threatened to murder their staff when in reality, I called and said I disagreed with their vote to not help unemployed people in the 2010-9 crash if for, to extend their unemployment benefits. The one term he had, I called his office, and they reported me falsely because the long arm of intimidation for those fuckers is nothing. We need people to speak out, folks. This shit is getting serious. Peace on earth. This is what we need. Peace on earth. Look at that baby. I wonder, I have often wondered if that baby is dead. Honest to God. That baby came from Fukushima. The, in the original picture, the mother and the doctor had on a fucking air mask. The baby did not. 
So what the fuck is that about? The baby's cheeks? The reason it's red is the baby's cheeks were fucking redder than fucking red, the poor little creature. Oh my god, that poor child is probably dead. These motherfuckers have no heart. To tell people of Fukushima they have to move back in or repay TEPCO. Or lose their benefits. This is motherfucking insane genocide. It's Harry Carey of the worst nature. Kill your own. This is such a humanity disgrace. The 2020 Olympics is going to have fucking surfing. Oh, my God. Look, folks, I'm going to end here. We're at 10 minutes, but you know what? Thank you, Margaret Stover. Thank you, Kevin Finnegan. Thank you, Kevin Blanche. Thank you, Miss Milky the Clown, Rad Chick, Levy Halevi, Jewel Stans from UCY TV. Thank you all of you for caring enough and loving enough our planet to speak out. We need hundreds of millions of YouTube channels fucking blasting these motherfuckers so that when I say Fukushima or nuclear, uh, what day is fucking this? September 20, what day is it? The 23rd, 2016. I get like a half a dozen at least options. We can all make our own videos. We need numbers, folks. We're not coming out in the streets. Let's come out on the media. Even if you just did chemtrail videos, we know they're fucking intertwined like fucking vine and wine. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. We're being mind-fucked and murdered, and nobody ever... And you know why we don't do it, Lonnie? Because it is boring. It's boring to keep talking about it. Really? That child in that painting is probably dead. That sentiment, peace on earth, I refuse to let it be dead. I refuse. You know what? I had it fucking tattooed on my arm. Love is greater than fear. That's the motto of my life. Period. End of fucking story. That is the reality. Forgive quickly, man. Life is short. Refuse to talk shit about each other. Don't make assumptions. You know, have the courage to ask questions and do your best. That's the four agreements. Live by that. Refuse to talk shit about yourself or anyone else. Don't make assumptions. Don't take it personally. Don't make assumptions means have the courage to ask questions. Have the courage to tell people how you feel. Don't take it personally means when people fuck you over, which, you know, they do. And it's happened here publicly on the YouTube venue. Dana Durnford got fucked over hard. Don't take it personally because these people are fucking dealing with their own bullshit. And guess what? Their karmic debt is deeper. We can't, If we do not lose ourselves, we are not bankrupt. They cannot bankrupt us. We are far richer than them. And guess what? We can generate anything that you need, Dana. And so can you. And you know it. And we're doing it. And guess what? We're going to win. And that poor child is probably dead, and so is his mother. And that's the sad part. But maybe the mother isn't. She did have a mask on. The baby didn't. That was the fucking thing that blew me away. The mother had a mask on. The doctor had a mask on. The baby did not. Wow. That speaks everything, doesn't it? Put your courage feet on, you guys. Please take some action. Subscribe to my channel, Nuts for Art. Please listen to the Age of Fission radio show Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you can't listen to it live, uh, podcasts on YouTube, on UCY TV, or on Nuts for Art. Uh, also, Fridays are call-in Fridays, so you can call into the radio show. Uh, off the top of my head, 718-717-8296. 
So it's always fun when people call in. If anybody wants to be interviewed from watching my videos or has any ideas, please contact me at nutsforart at gmail or call me on 541-337-4664. That's my cell phone number. And yeah, I know it's public, but I'm a public person now that I have the radio show. This is the goal. Peace on earth. Thank you, Kevin Finnegan, for insisting on it. God bless you. I love you, man. I love you. I love. To be honest, I have such love for everyone. Like, I just love humanity. And love is greater than fear, folks. And even if that little baby did die, which high probability, I still love that baby. And you know what? That baby understands. It's part of our process. Let us stand up and be what our children deserve us to be. We need to fight these people. We have decided to ignore it long enough. That's what the EPA chose long ago. If they can't do anything about it, they're just not going to tell us. Well, guess what? We deserve to know. And we deserve to be able to figure out the best ways to protect our children and our grandchildren and ourselves. So, that's a peace symbol for those of you who don't know what it means. <laughs> peace to all of us. And put your courage feet on. Love you all, man. Ciao.